you know, you get bigger and, uh, you know, yeah. that back then... To tell them off. <laughs> yeah, tell them off and also get girls though, right? Yeah, so, of course. Hey guys, so I've got an opportunity to talk with Remus, who is a professional bodybuilder. So we've got something in common. Most of you might know a lot of the background from my fitness journey. So I would like to speak with someone who can share their ideas, thoughts, and maybe give some more tips about fitness itself. So Remus, tell us a bit about the background. Where are you from? How old are you? Okay, awesome. Hello guys, I'm Remus. 28 years old, born in 1988, mm -hmm. Bucharest, Romania. Uh, my background, uh, my first interaction with the gym was actually at 18 years old. I've been doing uh, martial arts, judo, oh, yeah. um, soccer, I used to play soccer a lot. How did you come up with the idea to, from doing, say, martial arts to go to the bodybuilding? What encouraged you? How did you get this idea, inspiration? Well, the inspiration, I think uh, many teenagers could re relate to this in the sense that I was really skinny, mm. so... For the guys, yeah, especially. For the guys, you know, it, being at the high school and school, guys used to pick on me a lot. Mm. I was really skinny and, you know, that didn't help. And uh, getting like in uh, fights and stuff like that. Uh, one day a colleague of mine said, hey, would you, would you like to go to the gym because you know, you get bigger and, uh, you know, yeah. that back then... To tell them off. <laughs> yeah, to tell them off and also get girls off, right? Yeah, of so, course. He convinced me, I got into the gym with him, 18 years old. Back then, we wouldn't, didn't have like this fancy gym that we have now. It was like pure iron, you know, with dust. Like a basement, yeah. Like, like the dungeon but gym. But it's ain't the hardest work, it's always in the dungeon gyms. It's amazing, the gyms yeah. were great. And uh, yeah, the bug just caught me, you know. And ever since I've been lifting weights, pumping iron and mm -hmm. just fell in love with it. So it's amazing. How, how many competitions have you done so far? Uh, so far, I've done uh, two competitions, mm -hmm. and it's been uh, wow, almost seven years. Two it's, competitions? Yeah. How many? Two. Only two, yeah. yeah. Okay, but yeah. your your shape is brilliant. How yeah, do you thanks. how do you stay like that? You all year round, you get onto the bulking season where you gain a lot of weight, or you're in the, pretty much the same shape. Some guys may eat like a chocolate, or you know, may go go off of the diet a little bit, and that just they just put on fast that quick. Mm. For me, I could get away with stuff like that, but I also pretty much diet all year round. Carbs are not a big issue for me. I can yeah. eat carbs, especially if I eat healthy carbs. Mm -hmm. I don't really put on that much fat. I put on some, some kilograms, but not that much. Yeah. yeah, so it's easy for you to get back in shape, like get back on the healthy lifestyle, like on the diet yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. Because like for me, I've gained, I don't know, it was like six kilos which was a month after the competition so six kilos back and it's kind of shocking when you know when you see your body every single day being stage lean and looking perfect let's say and then when you're back to the kilos and the fat you know yeah. you're kind of feeling not really well and it's emotional also it's draining emotionally it a lot that's why it's really important to stay on the diet yeah. isn't it because it's saying whenever you you've got the diet before the competition once you're getting off the stage, you also have to follow some sort of a diet to slowly adjust the calories, build it up, so then your body yeah. is not gonna get into the shop. Yeah, but just be very careful with this, guys, because if if you go way out of, out of line, mm -hmm. the moment you get off the stage with mm -hmm. your food, yeah, you feel great because you're eating a lot of, you know, whatever you want. Yeah. But it's really unhealthy. Mm hmm. You know, exactly. really because unhealthy. you think so, like you want to eat everything. Yeah, and it's good and it's tasty. Yeah. It tastes great. It's yeah. fine, but it's not healthy at all. When is your next competition? Well, I should have a competition on the 11th of March, so mm -hmm. that would be about five weeks. And out. that's in UK or in Romania? Romania, Bucharest. Uh, my class would be classic bodybuilding, so mm -hmm. uh, it takes in consideration uh, height and weight. So in my category, I'm not allowed to have. Uh, 
over 4 kilograms of my height. So my height is 178. Mm -hmm. I'm only allowed to have 82 kilograms yeah. max. Okay. I'm about 83 now. So I think I got in the back. Yeah, yeah. Right. And how do you feel? How do you feel now? Do you feel like you're in a prep mood? Do you have this kind of emotions, you know, mood swings and everything? Yes. How's your diet going? My diet is great. I actually work as a waiter now, so it's not that easy. Say, how many calories? Yeah. Is there a particular amount of calories or do you follow macros like 40, 40 and 20 in regarding the carbs? So, so again, this is a process. Everybody works, everybody works different. Yeah. But for me, high protein doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Like 200 or 150 grams of protein for me doesn't work. Mm. I go like about 100 grams of protein a day. Yeah. And that's about it. And the rest is like. And that's enough for you. That's enough for me. Yeah. And I kind of grow. Mm -hmm. But for me, really important is to eat carbs. Because if I don't eat carbs, I lean out pretty fast. I'm kind of jealous because yeah. for me, if I'm eating more carbs, so I'm getting more fat quicker, which is really good. And yeah. um, is there any, say, tips what to avoid whenever you want to get into the shape? The main thing would be, I would say, prepping your food, which is the most challenging thing. You have to prep your food, you have to pack it with you when you go to work. You cannot miss your meals, guys. That's really, really important. Carry your bag all the time. Try not to go eat takeaways and oh, yeah. stuff like that. Prep your food. You know what you put in it and it's exactly that. I would like you to show us and the viewers Several yeah. exercises for the upper body. The main ones that you do. Anything that you do in the gym, which you can suggest to people so they can include in their daily workouts. Yeah? yeah sure, sure. Okay. That's nice and slow. So even on the positive, nice and slow. Nice and slow on the way down. And after this, you can do three. Fast, one. We cannot do anymore. <coughs> you just do quarters. A quarter means from down a quarter. Just a quarter. But don't use the body, just the bicep. Okay. I'm super sad this with over the head tricep extension. What I would do is just stand straight and tilt my hips backwards a bit. I'll just lock the elbows and just extend. So, we're gonna first break up the muscle, take flies, and then immediately after that, change the, the grip and do press. And you can really feel it in the, in the chest, you don't need heavy weights, great pump, great burn. The only difference is on this is intensity. I'll just try to do slow 
reps, nice and controlled with a squeeze at the top. And I'll do this four times back to back with a five to seven seconds rest. exercises you just rather change the techniques change different styles of your training yeah. so as you saw some of the trainings we did we increased the weight and some of those we just did the same set we increased the speed but then we stayed with the same weight yeah. but it definitely feels like you can get the pump and everything and that was a great workout upper body great workout intensity. yes it was so hope guys you've got some ideas, hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. You can check on Remus's, I'm gonna leave the links in the description down below. And thank you Remus so much. I can't, I'm just holding the camera. Okay. I'm gonna have to thank awesome. you so much. Thank you Carolina, she's yeah. awesome. Be sure to follow us guys, okay? Follow us on social media and take care guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Awesome, bye bye guys. <laughs>